what's the worst wedding you've ever been to? I went to Reddit and found some of the craziest stories to bring to you guys. And today we're not only going to read some stories, but we're actually gonna play a game. And to help us play this game, I brought my friend and fellow wedding planner, Angie Cannon. She is the owner of Cannon Events and Planning. And we're gonna play a game together. For every story that Angie correctly guesses is real or AI written, I'm going to donate $10 to the Wish Upon a Wedding Foundation. <laughs> the Wish Upon a Wedding Foundation donates weddings and vow renewals to couples who are suffering from terminal or life-altering conditions who want to either have that wedding that they've always dreamed of or renew their vows. It's really sweet. Um, and both of us really um, believe in this foundation. Don't forget to remind that like button that it gives the best hugs and tell that subscribe that you're gonna run an errand for it and you do it, okay? You do that errand for it because it's been working hard. But keep it PG for me as always, okay? Now, all of the stories are gonna be from r slash ask reddit. What's the worst wedding you've ever been to? Let's dive in. This first story is going to be titled, A Wedding Crasher Spills the Tea. I once went to a wedding where the groom's ex showed up uninvited and caused a huge scene. She grabbed the mic during the speeches and started spilling all of the tea. You think he's perfect? Let me tell you about the time he cheated on me with my best friend. She began and the room went silent. The bride was crying, the groom was turning red. He shouted, get her out of here. But she wasn't done. They got into a shouting match with the ex yelling, you think you can just erase the past? And the groom firing back, this is our day, not yours. Things escalated quickly, and before we knew it, someone from the groom's side punched the ex's friend who had come along for support. Security had to drag the ex and her friend out, but the Vi was already ruined. The rest of the night was incredibly tense with everyone trying to pretend nothing had happened. My boyfriend leaned over and whispered, this feels like a bad soap opera. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get out of there. Hands down, most uncomfortable wedding I've ever been to. All right, Angie, was that real or AI? Uh, AI generated? Yes, it was. <laughs> Ten dollars, ten dollars, snaps for Angie. <laughs> ten dollars goes to the Wish Upon a Wedding Foundation. Okay, this next one is titled, Groom's mom makes the bride cry and dances the night away. Groom's mother came to the bride's room where we were all snacking and getting ready and generally having a good time, listening to music and doing hair and makeup. She wanted to say some heartfelt message to the bride. Now the bride's father had passed away not long before, so we weren't doing everything we could to keep things upbeat and positive. Mother of the groom proceeds to tell her all about how her dad is looking down from heaven in happy tears and how he hates to miss this big day. And bride starts crying, not just crying, full on ugly crying. Her makeup is now in her decolletage and her nose is red and running. The mother of the groom hands her back to us by saying, oh dear, she can't walk down the aisle like this and leaves the damn room. We spend half an hour calming the bride down, cooling her face, fixing her makeup. The ceremony started late and the maid of honor had just a basic ponytail because we had to spend so much time on damage control. The bride spent most of the reception just sitting and looking exhausted. The mother of the groom danced her socks off. F you, Brenda, for sabotaging the day. I've disliked you ever since, you selfish hag. <laughs> is oh, that real holy crap. or AI? Oh my gosh. That one is actually pretty good. I know. Um, I'm going to say that, I mean, you use the name Brenda, and then it sounds kind of real. Um, it sounds like something that would be on Reddit, so I would say uh, you, real. Real? All right. That's your final answer? Final answer. We're locked in. It is real. All right. <laughs> this was by writer Fla de Gaulle. I'm probably mispronounced that, but all right. Another $10. Another $10. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this one is titled An Awkward Wedding. Short and sweet. Wife and I got dragged to her friend's mother's wedding. I think it was her third marriage. Other than that being super awkward, it went off without a hitch. The reason for it being awkward was the son of the bride was involved in the murder of the groom's nephew. He went with some friends to buy drugs, but turns out they didn't have any intention of paying for them. The bride's son was at the wedding. 
he was charged with murder and pled down to something that got him multiple years probation. Is this real or AI? Oh my gosh. Um, well, it's short. Sweet. Uh, AI? It's actually real. Oh, dang it's real. It. <laughs> uh. This one was by writer Kevin ACS. Oh, it was very dang. short, man. I that would be yeah. kind of awkward, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just like write a short story on Reddit. Like I'm <laughs> used to the long versions. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about maybe if you can get this next one right, I will okay. double the prize for this one. Okay. So that's the stakes now. Then this next one's $20. <laughs> she gets this right. This one's titled, But You Invited Me. Now this one's a little longer. Ex's best friend's wedding. She's my ex best friend for several reasons, but this is one of said reasons. This happened back in 2014. I'm invited to her wedding, taking place in the middle of July, July 17th. It was a very hot, dry summer to begin with and i'm expected to wear a tuxedo something she was aware of i hated wearing but i figured eh, it's a wedding so why not i show up to the reception people are being let in i show the dude i assumed was my best man my wedding invitation and xbf shows up the following dialogue is from memory so it's not 100 percent accurate but you get the idea her oh hey you hey sorry i have to tell you something me what's up you're not allowed inside. This is the bride, all right? Oh. You're not allowed inside. Me, I stared at her for a good 10 seconds before asking, why the hell not? Um, <laughs> oh, because no one knows you here, she says. He says, you invited me. I have the damn wedding invitation right here. Yeah, but you can just stay outside and wait, he says. You, you, know, you realize I had to go halfway across the country to get here, right? What? Yeah, she says. And now you're telling me I'm not invited inside? And is anyone else not invited inside? She says, nope, just you. Sorry about this mess. So I'm here. It's about 25 Celsius or 77 Fahrenheit. I'm wearing a black tuxedo and is expected to stand outside in the blazing sun. I asked her if I could just go to the hell home instead of wasting my time, which for some reason she took offense to, saying that if I did, our friendship meant nothing to me. I had known her for 12 years at this point. So I said, fine, but I'll need food and something to drink anyway. She said, oh, sorry, we didn't factor into you coming, so there won't be enough for you. I left then and there, as you should. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, I did have a friend who let me crash at this place until I could leave the following day. Her wedding lasted about eight months. She's now on marriage three, and I've turned down the invitations to both her other weddings, which were also during the summer, because no way am I reliving that. Real or AI? This one's the double. This yeah, one's the I double. Oh, this is hard. It was long, but it was, there was no names mentioned, but doesn't mean anything on Reddit, because AI? So this one was real and it was by writer Forlorn Kaiser. This one will be for triple the donation. This, so there's higher stakes involved. Are you ready for it, Angie? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, this is hard. This is also our final story. Okay. Let's take this wedding to the hospital. I attended a wedding last summer that turned into a nightmare. The food looked amazing, but within hours, everyone started to feel sick. I ended up with the worst food poisoning of my life, and so did most of the guests. To make matters worse, there weren't enough bathrooms at the venue. People were lined up, looking pale and desperate. It was supposed to be a beautiful day, but ended with half the guests in misery. Real or AI? Wait, wasn't that part of your other story? Real? No. Oh, are you AI? sure you want to go with that answer? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, so it was AI generated. Yay! Yay! Oh my gosh. <laughs> now, if you are planning your wedding, I do have a free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below. Check it out. I feel like it's really crazy how easy it is to confuse AI with real. Um, it's like, we should play Is It Cake sometime, maybe. Yeah, uh, I mean, that was <laughs> a challenge. A real challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you did good though. Yeah. And we're donating. I'm donating, not we, I'm donating $50 to the Wish Upon a Wedding Foundation. 
nonprofit. We'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Well, and you know, for that, I will donate another $50. Ah, yay! Oh, that's sweet. I had no idea you were going to do that. Oh, that's so cool. So sweet. Yeah. All right. Well, if you like this video, maybe you would enjoy some of these other videos. Check them out over here.